we have Rajunna Dottu with us. Rajunna finished third at uh, MPL 33rd National Under 17 Girls Championship. Congratulations, Rajunna. Thank you. You scored an 8.5 out of 11. How was the tournament? Uh, the tournament was very good and very nice. Uh, it was great for me. Actually, uh, I felt very, very good. I mean, I, I played very well there. So, uh, my, uh, I mean, I faced so many problems in the opening, so that's why there are so many problems I faced in the games. But still, it was okay for me. I think it was okay for me. Few months ago, at uh, the same uh, state, was it the same city, Jalandhar, or uh, different? No, uh, the city was different. Yes. Okay. So, the, at the same state of Punjab, you became national amateur under 2000 women's champion. So, would you say that Punjab is a good state for you? Yeah, Punjab is a great state. Actually, uh, the, there in Punjab, the, uh, the people are very good and very kind. They are very helpful and they help us a lot in Punjab. So, you had uh, good memories of winning the national amateur and then few months later you were back again and under 70. What was your uh, best game from this event? Round, I, uh, the, the game was very good and very, very, very uh, great. And I faced so many problems on that game. And the game, game, game was gone very good and very nice. Who was your opponent in that round? Uh, in that round, I think it's Mitrika. Okay, let's take a look at the game. So uh, in this game, uh, Mitrika was white and I was black. So she start with the move e4. I played e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, knight f6, d3, bishop e7, castle, castle, knight c3, d6, a4. So here black has so many ideas like bishop e6 with the idea d5 or knight a5 with the idea c6 or maybe king h8 knight g8 f5. So I have choose king h8 knight g8 f5 because I feel like that in this variation black black fails so many possibilities and black has so many in initiatives. So I chose the move king h8. She played h3, knight g8, knight d5, f5. Now, if uh, at first she took my bishop, bishop knight takes e7, king takes e7, e takes f5, bishop takes f5. Now she played bishop g5, queen e8, g4. Actually, at first I I feel like the g4 is not such a good move because she is just uh, she is just ex uh, exploiting his king and uh, his, uh, his her king is not so safe now i can just i can just play h5 and just attack his king but uh, after that i feel like that my king is also not so safe because i have only two pawns in my uh, in front of my king so at first I should make my king safe, then only I can attack her king. But, uh, but in that way, I, I can say that uh, white is, uh, white is uh, after playing g4, uh, white is not such a, uh, white is not such in a bad position. But uh, uh, actually now black can, can't exploit the king. But uh, after some time, um, I think black will have a great position. So after that, I, I saw that move queen g6. Actually, queen g6, I, at first I feel like that queen g6 is a good move because uh, she can take my bishop because of queen f, queen takes f5. Now knight f3 is hanging and knight d4 is also coming. So queen, uh, so um, the bishop takes is not possible. Even she can't move his bishop because of bishop takes g4, and maybe it will be a great position for black. But after, but after bishop d5, white is having a great position because 
uh, I have to move my bishop back only because bishop e6, bishop e4, queen f7. Now white white bishops are very good uh, position. White bishops are in a very good position, and I have not such a great position here. And even I can't exploit the weakness of g4. So that's why I didn't play queen g6, and I just moved my bishop back on e6. So bishop e6, bishop e6, queen e6. Now she played bishop f e3 with the idea of knight g5. So I played knight f6, she played a5, a6, knight g5. Now I played queen d7. Actually I missed the move queen e7. Actually I think that queen e7 is better than queen d7 because now queen, after queen d7 if I played c3 then uh, I have the move knight d5. Now uh, the knight g5 is hanging so she have to move his, her knight on e4. Now I can play knight f4. Uh, if bishop takes f4 then rook takes f4. Queen h4 is coming and rook f8 is coming. So uh, I think that this is a great position for black and uh, even black can, uh, black can exploit the weakness on g4. So I think here black has a great position but I just missed that move queen e7 so I played queen d7. Anyway, uh, here queen uh, b3 is not possible because, sorry, pawn was, pawn was in uh, c2. So here she plays c3, rook a8. Now I saw the move knight d5 at first but after then I realized that queen b3 is coming. And now uh, if I take the bishop f takes e3 and then I can just save the b6, b7 pawn in such a way I have to move my rook, move my, uh, rook on b8 but after that uh, white will have a great position so this is not a good position for white, black so I just reject the move knight d5 and then and then I played rook a8 with the idea of uh, uh, actually I played rook a8 because I saw that here queen b3 is not possible because knight g4 is hanging and after h takes g4 queen takes g4 I have a perpetual even I don't know even I can uh, after h6 knight e4 rook f5 maybe it will be a winning position for black or maybe not I don't know but uh, my intuition was saying that uh, this could be a better position for black or maybe it's a draw uh, it's a draw just uh, so i that's why i played rook a8 and then she played b4 she was planning with the move c4 b5 so uh, at first i thought that i will play knight b knight a7 and then simply play c6 so, but uh, then I thought that after, uh, sorry, knight s7 is not possible, knight d8, knight d8 and c6. But uh, after that I realized that uh, knight d8 and then knight e6 would be not a such great idea. So, uh, I thought that uh, I should uh, play some more active moves like knight d5 to knight f4. So uh, I, I was planning with the move queen e7, queen h4 and just exploiting so g1 so, and then king, uh, and just exploiting the move g4 pawn and then so I decided to play knight d5 first so I played knight d5 and she played knight e4 and I think here I have uh, made a mistake of playing knight f4. Maybe I should play knight c7 at first, knight c7, knight g6, and then knight f4. But uh, after I, uh, but uh, on, on on the board I didn't see the move knight c7. So uh, I play knight f4. Bishop takes f4. Now I see the move rook takes f4. But uh, actually I was scared about the move c4 b5. So uh, I was. Actually, I was uh, I, actually I I was thinking about the move e takes f4 and f3 and then knight e5, knight takes g5. But uh, actually, I missed the move knight g5 and knight f3. 
सो उसी प्लेन नाइन जी फाइव है आफ्टर नाइन जी फाइव आई रियलाइज दैट इफ आई कुड प्ले रूप टेक्स एफ फोर इंस्टेड ऑफ वी टेक्स एफ फोर देन मे बी आई विल हैव अ सर्च बेटर पोजिशन बट एनी वाई आफ्टर नाइन जी फाइव एप्ले क्वीन ई सेवन नाइट एफ थ्री नाउ मे बी नाइट ई फाइव इज बेटर इंस्टेड ऑफ क्वीन ई टू बट आफ्टर नाइट ई फाइव आई सॉ द मूव डी फोर and then then maybe i should capture the knight and then play queen e2 mm, but anyway i played queen e2 at first queen takes e2 rook takes e2 she played rook f b1 now i uh, at first i now i thought uh, that i will play knight a7 but then i see the move c4 c6 and then also b5 so uh, that's why i mm, and then b5 ab5 cb5 cb5 and a6 so i was not feeling good about this position so that's why i reject this variation and that's why and uh, i i have some another plan also with uh, that rook c2 rook a3 rook f8 and rook e2 so i uh, at first i didn't see after rook e2 b5 is also coming that i didn't see that but uh, um, then then after playing rook c2 rook a3 and then i realized that rook e8 is not coming because of b5 ab5 rook e8 b5 ab5 rook b5 rook e2 94 is coming so uh, then that's why this will be not such a good position for me and That's why here I played. Here I played h6 because uh, now b5, a b5, rook takes b5, knight d8. So now she played h4. I played rook e8. She played rook f5. I played king g8. No, sir. Knight e6 first, d4, king g8. Actually, here I was thinking that she will play d5, knight. I will play knight c5. She will capture my pawn. I will play knight d3, and maybe she will play knight d4. Now uh, I will play. I will play rook e1 and rook c1, and I will just continue like this. But uh, unfortunately, she played uh, rook. Rook b5 here. I play knight d8. She played d5. So now uh, I play rook e2. She played knight d4. Rook b2. Rook takes b2. Rook takes b2. A6. B a6. Rook a6. Here I feel like that I am losing because uh, my pawns are not uh, actually my pawns are not protected. and i have not such a good position here so uh, i feel like that i'm just losing i have no chance to win this game and i have just no chance to even make this game a draw but uh, then i i just i just think that no i have to make this game win anyway so uh, now i just uh, make myself motivated and then i just play knight f7 with the idea of knight e5 and knight d3 or knight takes d4 so i thought that after knight f7 she will she will play rook a7 but uh, but uh, she played rook a8 and king h7 she played knight e6 so uh, i don't know why she had uh, chosen this idea maybe i think instead of this uh, instead of this she if she could have played rook a7 maybe it was much better but uh, she played rook a8 i played king h7 she played knight e6 knight e5 knight a8 king g8 knight g6 here king f7 is a blunder because after knight x e5 d takes e5 rook a7 now my c7 pawn is going so uh, that's why i just reject this variation but after king h7 i think it's a draw because after knight takes e5 
डी टेक सी फाइव रुक ए सेवन नाउ आई एम रुक बी फाइव सो सी फोर रुक सी फाइव एंड दिस वॉज प्लेड सो एंड नाउ आई हैव सच अ बेटर पोजिशन एंड नाउ आई कै आई वॉज फीलिंग लाइक दैट यस आई कैन मेक दिस गेम विन नाउ रुक सी फाइव एंड नाउ शी प्ले रुक ए फोर सो हेयर आई वॉज थिंकिंग दैट ई फोर वॉज बेटर एक्चुअली आई प्लेड किंग जी सिक्स but uh, after some time i realized that king g6 is not such a good move because after uh, king g6 f3 and now it will be a draw position so uh, but after the game when i came back to room and i just analyzed my game and i see that e4 was better at first because now f3 is not possible because of e3 so so you have to play king f1 now i can play this king g6 king f6 king e5 and maybe i have some chances for winning um, or maybe she can play h5 at first so after i think after h5 g6 is coming and maybe it will be winning for me um, but anyway i just missed that move so i played king g6 first she played f3 now king f6 uh, so uh, after king f6 she played king f2 now i play c6 she played d6 now king e6 king e2 e4 a4 king takes d6 king d3 now i play g5 h5 rook e5 she played rook e8 I play rook e6. She play rook e5. And c5. She play uh, rook b5. King c6. Rook e5. King d6. Rook b5. And like that, this game game ends in a draw. Kajolna, I know that uh, you have a brother, Rajeshnu, elder brother, I guess, right? Yeah. So, do you train or practice with him? Yeah, I practice. I sometimes I practice with him. So. And uh, winning uh, national amateur has also earned you a place at uh, Asian amateur and uh, world amateur. Yeah. So are you going to play in those events? Yeah. Who are you currently training with? Uh, I'm currently training with uh, Dipendu sir, Arindam sir, and in the academy of TD Bhuvneshwar. <laughs> and which school do you go to? Uh, Kendra Vidyalaya. And which standard do you study? I'm studying right now in ninth. So what's next for you? Uh, I think maybe I will play the Kit International. Thank you, Rajuna, for speaking with Chesbus India. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you so much.